student agency and voice and choice um, is closely tied to trust. When students feel like they are respected and trusted, they are much more likely to step up to the plate and invest in something challenging. When students are trusted to make some of the decisions about what topics they pursue, what topics are relevant and engaging to them, they have a whole new level of being um, invested and exploring their own curiosity to drive their learning. And Daniel Pink added, I think, a very good insight that many of us have known in the field for a long time. And he wrote his book on motivation and basically did study after study after study to say that the most significant motivator in the human experience is autonomy. And autonomy is choice. The freedom to be able to make significant choices about what matters to me. And of course, in the state of Vermont, with our legacy and personalized learning, that's exactly a piece uh, of the huge puzzle. There is also an important element of voice and choice in what students actually produce. And schools do this all the time, everywhere, and we've been doing it since the very beginning. Um, when students decide that they're going to produce their work, their, pr their product is going to look different from somebody else's because one student really wants to incorporate their art into showing their skills. Another person really wants to hone their essay writing skills. Another person wants to present to an audience. There is a really important role that choosing what the product looks like plays in the student feeling invested and engaged and like their learning experience has been meaningful and relevant and powerful.